Breakfast is calling. Breakfast, as I like to say. I can't stand it. But it can be sweet. It. it can be delicious. It can be bourbony. Hey, I like that. Hey, is just that don't a word call it. Just don't call it breakfast. It's like salmon. Today's or... breakfast. I want to show you guys how to elevate your French toast. This is really simple. It's all about the sauce. That's where we're going to be adding a ton of the flavor, a little bit of technique here and there. But this recipe is unbelievable. It's the sauce, man. It's the sauce, It's that bro. caramel sauce. It's where it's at. Yeah, buddy. Uh, hey, before we get into the video, be sure to click subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get an email or a text message every time we post a video. You ready to get into this? Because I'm... Let's... Dude. Dude. Yeah? Dude. Let's do this. Dude. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sir. Now the first thing we're gonna get, ooh. <laughs> hey. The first thing we're gonna get to is our sauce. This caramel sauce really is simple and it's all about compounding our flavors. So I'm gonna start with a bit of green apple. CJ, when it comes to apples, do you have a preference? Um, yes. Yeah, and? I prefer red Fiji. Why? Because you put me on the spot. <laughs> the first one I can think of. So I'm gonna do kind of a medium sized dice here. We don't have to worry too much about the shape because we are gonna get rid of it later. Uh, we just wanna give enough surface area to let some of the juice on the inside come out and give all of that beautiful apple flavor. Uh, you know, actually before I finish this, let's go ahead and turn on our burner. Today I'm on the 17 inch uh, Adventure Ready range top. Uh, I use this one a lot, CJ. I love this unit. It's Having the burner on the side it's pretty, pretty legendary. So we're gonna light it up on high heat. We'll let that cruise for just a second and get hot. Back to the apples. Back to reality. Up oh, the goes rabbity choke to so mad at it. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just gonna cut these up and then add them right to our pan. Now this is gonna take the longest, so we want this to cook a good bit. Now I'm using green apples. Yeah, I know you love the Fiji. Fiji. Thank you. Man, I'm, It'll come I'm, to me. I'm on like It'll glitch mode right now. You can't get any further away before you start coming back. Speaking of a uh, ring in a, in a drink, let's talk about bourbon. <laughs> uh, so this is a bourbon apple caramel sauce. So the base is gonna be apples, that's that flavor, but this bourbon is gonna compound and be unbelievable. We're gonna add this right over the apples. Now we're gonna be Fairly generous. This is Old Hansford. Good. If you haven't uh, tried it, give it a try. It is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description. Yeah. But we're gonna put a considerable amount. And it's going to. Oh, you wanna give it a flambe? Okay. okay. Oh, I'm adding all this because we're gonna reduce it. All right, we need some more. Back your camera. Back your... <laughs> oh, that was it. Well. That was a lot of apples. <laughs> a lot of apples. Story of your life. Yeah. It's there. Quick flame and it's out. Basically, oh, we're getting a little flame now. There we are. Yeah, we're Dude, Howie, there it is, buddy. Yeah. Old Hansford, Howie's, uh, he makes- Oh, he wait, makes... hey, Howie. Howie? We, we're, we're officially empty, bro. I'm just, I just, we're just throwing saying. it out there. There we go. Just go ahead and add some. Christmas. If you want to, you can, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, you can take the flame. Whoa! Off. Jeez, I just felt the heat on that. That's essentially, whenever you talk about flambe, it's the alcohol burning off. Uh, so it's, it's fine. Actually, it's getting a really nice toast. Bro, and <laughs> you're about to get a nice toast. <laughs> uh, it's giving a nice toast on those apples. Let's throw in some sugar. We're gonna let that reduce. We're having to stay back. A little bit. It's real cooking, man, real time. Jeez. That's gonna reduce down. It's gonna create an amazing caramel sauce. So essentially, Caramel sauce, the difference between caramel sauce and syrup, it's not much, it's just thickness. Just how thick it is? How thick it is. The sugar and the bourbon are gonna reduce together and as the liquid starts to reduce out, that caramel sauce is gonna thicken up and get stunning. And now that we have the apples in there, the apples are actually gonna release a lot of uh, flavor and sugar as well. And some liquid, did I say liquid? You, I, a little bit of liquid apple juice in there. Liquid really... nitro What? Liquid nitro -hid. You can give it a blow if you want to put it out. 
So you can get rid of the flame if it scares you, but we do want it to keep reducing. I didn't plan for that to happen, but I'm really glad it did. Dude, because the those color? apples are lovely. Yeah, they are. Are they beautiful? beautiful? Uh, I think they are. Uh huh. I think they are. All right, let's get to our French toast. Now, I want to get to my stuffing first. We're going to fill these up a little bit. So I've got some cream cheese. I've softened this a little bit just so it's easier to work with. We're going to add some cream cheese to a large bowl, and we're going to add some cinnamon and some sugar. Or you can get cinnamon sugar. That looks good. Now to this, I actually want to add a bit of texture and kind of compound my flavor a little bit. So I have a little bit more apple. So I'm going to take just one side of this off. Now we're going to do a brunoise. Can you, can you say that, CJ? I'm <laughs> sorry. That was mean. Yeah, you're a jerk. Basically, we want to make really thin little julienne, real small. This is smaller than a small dice. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I like it. To, to be, be perfect. Nice and perfect. Perfection. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few slices. Now we're gonna create little, oh yeah, little julienne out of it like that. We wanna try to be the same width so it's a square. So when we turn it on its side, what we're left with is a really beautiful, tiny little even bite of apple. We get crunch, we get sweetness. Because it's a green apple, we get a little bit of tart acidity. Just lovely. It gives us a really nice mouthfeel. Let's do it a few more times. So basically what you want to do is slice your apples pretty thin and then cut across just like that to create those beautiful tiny little squares. Just like that. Now we don't need a ton of this because we do have some apples. I might continue to use those apples. Let's, add, let's start with this, buddy. We're going to add this in there first. Right over our cream cheese. All right, now, uh, so depending on how thick or thin you like it, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit thinner, so I've got a touch of whole milk. Now this is just to thin out the consistency a little bit, so we're gonna mix this in and we can adjust as we go. Hey, can we check on our sauce real quick, Let's buddy? Let's go do that. Wanna make sure our reduction sauce doesn't get away from us. You can see how our bubbles are getting really, really stunning and big. We're, we're almost there. You see how it's getting thicker? Oh yeah, that oh, smell yeah. is so fantastic. So, so good, so good. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit just to slow it down because we're not quite ready. Uh, over here, uh, I've got my burner set up to medium. Let's go, medium's good. So just keep uh, gently mixing this, press that milk into the cream cheese until we have a nice smooth, sweet cream. This is gonna be the filling uh, for our French toast. That's stunning, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. All right, let's talk about a French toast. <laughs> so I've got some, <laughs> got a little bit of French bread. I like to go um, just for presentation purposes, just a nice, heavy diagonal cut, a little bias cut. Uh, we're gonna go about an inch thick or so, not too thick, not too thin. Um, we'll just we're gonna do one or two. Let's yeah. do, we'll do a couple. Uh, let's just do one. We don't need more than one. Uh, just to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna take. Basically, two beautiful pieces of bread, and we're gonna stuff them. Uh, you know what we need? Tell me. CJ Frazier. <laughs> we need some eggs. No, of course we do. We'll right back. Okay. You know, raising your eggs is super easy. CJ. Um, you know, you technically walked. And no, they if, weren't my eggs. If you hadn't already, no, 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 no. If you hadn't already, I mean, you can't. I think the the walk of shame is that way. I don't know about that. The walk that. of fame. It's over there. That way. <laughs> How do you put these clips on? What size did you get? There you go. <laughs> Back in business. <laughs> All right, all right. so um, our little mix is really, really simple. Uh, Blackstone Betty has a fun trick where she uses, um, uh, what French, is it Like uh, French creamer. vanilla, like creamer, Coffee right? Coffee creamer, yeah, that's a really fun trick. We're gonna fake some of that flavor today, but by all means, if you have some of that, you can use it. I'm gonna add uh, eggs, a little bit of milk, and I'm gonna go back to that beautiful cinnamon sugar. Beautiful. Whoa, wind is coming, wind's coming! There Play the wind, is. play the wind. Playing that game in the wind. There we go. Now let's give this... Like a candle in the wind. 
I love the Beatles. <laughs> like a candle in the wind. little whip there. Uh, yeah, uh, Betty's trick is really, really fantastic. So you could really change the flavor dynamics of your French toast mix by adding some of your favorite uh, coffee creamers and with your egg. Good trick. But I'm not using it, so how good is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. <laughs> Betty. Alright, that is going to be our little egg mix. Alright, so let's take our Spatula, sorry, I'm all up in your right camera, up in buddy. Life, right all up in your camera. So I'm gonna take some of that cream cheese, a sweet apple cinnamon cream cheese spread. We're gonna go right down onto the cut side here. Be a little generous with it. I mean, not crazy, but you do want a bit of height. You want to have enough of that texture and flavor. I'm gonna take the other, what the? and we're gonna make a little sandwich. Like glue. Like that. Look at that. Food glue. Look at that. Now we're gonna go inside our little egg mix. Give her a flip and get it on all sides. Wait, no, come on. Come on, come on. Let's let that sit for just a second. Let's take a gander at our sauce. Good buddy. Let's get the gander it's on. Reducing color is getting deep and dark and gorgeous. We're gonna wait until this is about 90% finished, which will be in about 60 seconds. Okay. Now you can tell? I know you know. Because of the bubbles. Because of the bubbles. Hey. Because of the bubbles. Well, then why don't you ring that bell then? Tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> Don't tell me my business, devil woman. Call the fire department. This one's out of control. All right, while that is getting to where it needs to be, we're gonna go down to our griddle top. A little bit of griddle spray. All right, now I'm gonna take CJ, come here, buddy. Okay. So this has been sitting just for a second or two, but it's already soaked up some of that beautiful flavor. Here we go. Let's go, buddy. And now I'm on like a medium low heat. I was at medium, I turned it down a little bit. We're gonna cook this through for about Know, let's say 90 seconds per side, then it's time to plate. Okay. What we're looking for is a beautiful golden crust. We want that cinnamon, uh, sugar, and the egg to get beautiful around the outside, and for the inside to just heat up a little bit so that filling gets to be a bit soft. It gives us a really great mouthfeel and a ton of flavor because hot stuff tastes good. <laughs> okay, so do you want to ring a bell? Or do you want to I got egg or? on my hands. Yeah. Why don't you ring it? Well, I mean, well, this thing's broken. Allow myself to, to introduce, introduce myself. myself. <laughs> Allow myself to introduce myself. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, as this cools down, it's going to thicken up just a bit. Let's check out our French toast. is looking good. We're just about finished. I really like that trick of sliding it up on the edge, putting it on the side like that. It's nice. It's a nice little trick. You know what? Let's, uh... we got eggs. Uh-huh. Fresh mint? What? <laughs> it's not obscenely you know, like, bright. Whenever you buy uh, fresh mint at the grocery store and it comes in that little thing, it's just like kind of all squished together. But if you grow it, you can grab this just beautiful little top piece. <gasps> <gasps> it's pretty beautiful. Hello there. Hello, little one. Hello. Come on. Come on then. Who's you? Who's you, boo boo? Did you? We went through I a couple movies Jurassic. Jurassic Park and then went into Ace Ventura. Who's you, boo boo? Did you? All right, let's plate this up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab my French toast. I'm coming over to you, buddy. Okay. For Here. presentation, I'm going to cut this in half. Again, on a slight bias. Be gentle. I like to use a bread knife here just so I can maintain some integrity. But look at our beautiful Bro. layers. We're gonna go to my plate right here, buddy. Okay. Just like that. We can take the other one if you want to. You can give it a stack this way. What the? Now, we can come over with our, look at this. Ooh. So you saw how much bourbon we actually used yeah. and how much is left. Dude. So, not cheap. <laughs> no. <laughs> not cheap. Howie. You freaking... We need a bottle. Yeah, or we two. need some more. Or, or three. Need two now, I'm going to go right over the top, buddy. You got this? Oh, wow. Some of that. Oh, I got oh, your microphone. Yeah, like... yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and take some of these beautifully soaked apples and put them right over the top. You can actually see the color on those apples, how much sugar and bourbon they've soaked up. Uh, they got a little bit of char, a little bit of color. Just really, really stunning. Simple way to elevate 
your breakfast. I mean, that was really, really quick, too. Um, it just comes out so, so stunning. Look in our me little up with mint. that mint, bro. Where did it, Where'd it go? Did you? I did not touch it. Where? Oh, here it is. Got me dirt. <laughs> dirt don't hurt. Deer tay. Technically, I just did pull this out of the earth. Look, this is the worst video just, ever. <laughs> I'll toss this little guy right in there. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, CJ ruined it. There we go. We're still beautiful. There we go. Really fun, absolutely elevated. With just a few simple steps, a little bit of technique, uh, you can really take your flavor game to a new level. Adding the bit of cinnamon and minced apple into that filling is a whole new uh, layer of uh, texture that gives you really great flavor. Uh, and then that bourbon sauce, come on. Yeah, dude. Cinnamon, apple, bourbon, caramel sauce. That is flavor bomb. Is Whoa, it? the apples. Whoa. I didn't bring a fork for you, buddy. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Some of that sauce in there. So good. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. <coughs> Ringing a ding, binging a, binging a bell on a bite. Hey, go know. to teespring.com. Yeah. See uh, all the new, all the goods that we've got there. That's but what be sure be. to check out CJ's show. It's really fun if you're a beginner like he is. Dude, why do you? Betty's show. Yeah, check out Betty's show. Check out Todd Tobin's show. But this is Cook, Eat, Repeat. Did I mention subscribe to the channel so you get to see all the, all the videos? Be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Click that little uh, bell icon too so you get a text message and an email every time we post a video because you don't want to miss a recipe. No, you don't. They're all fun like this. Simple, easy, delicious. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Chef Nathan Libby. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat where we help you become a better cook. One, One recipe. Recipe at a time. At a time. <laughs> see you guys in the next video.